Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Friday. Um, I'm feeling okay. So the cold hasn't progressed into anything more aggressive. Um, Lee's woken up feeling a bit claggy as well. So I'm definitely like 99% sure this is cold and not hay fever related. Um, so yay, escaped hay fever for another year. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I think I'm just going to take it easy, but we all know I'm not actually very good at taking it easy. And I know there are a few little things around the house that need to be done, but I am feeling less like I have things in my head that are going to stress me out. So, you know, when you wake up at night and there are things that you can do nothing about and they just lurk in your head going, you know, well, is that ever going to happen? Are you ever going to get? There have been jobs like that that have stressed me out, especially as well through lockdown when the control of doing those things has been completely removed from me. And the big one of those jobs was getting that concrete toilet or the concrete toilet base um, delivered and put in at the forest school site that um, I'm part of. And that was playing on my mind for a long time and because of covid and weather i couldn't do anything about it but that's been a huge weight off my mind and there have been other jobs things like decorating the boys bedroom dealing with the rats when they were in the loft all those things that i've managed to slowly get done have all slowly removed those midnight demons that you know lurk in my brain um They've removed them. Now, me being someone who's always been a worrier and an element of anxiety about me has is sitting here going, OK, so my brain's going to try and find something to replace the anxiety and stress with. But touch wood, so far that hasn't been the case. Um, so I am enjoying getting those annoying little things dealt with because... It is making me a less worried, anxious person in the middle of the night, you know, when you wake up and start thinking about these things or not be able to go to sleep because you start thinking about these things. The other thing that has been happening regularly now for probably two weeks is I hit 10 o'clock in the evening and I start to get tired. And if I haven't started reading, then I'll start reading and Lee goes downstairs and then we, by half by half ten the book is closed and I'm going to sleep now I'm a like 12 o'clock person I'm a midnight person you know half 11 at the earliest so for me to be tired by 10 and asleep by half 10 quarter to 11 never happened but it's become my regular to the point where I said to Lee yesterday you could set your clock by me now we didn't know what the time was, but my eyes were going. And when I looked, it was 10.27. So you can literally set your clock by me now. Um, and that's a bit weird, but it's you. Um, and I don't know if some of it is the fact that now Lee goes downstairs to watch videos or a movie or, or something like that. And so I can read. I think it's because we're turning the TV off earlier. And I've said this before. You know, if we're watching things until like 10, half 10, then I don't have time to to not have that noise and everything. And I think because what we're doing is we're watching a couple of programmes and then because he knows I want to do my reading, he's turning it off. And if he wants to continue watching, he goes downstairs. But I'm actually getting that time that we should have without screens, with the light low, reading, doing something calming. Um, and I'm actually really liking it. I don't know if he is. <laughs> I don't know if Lee likes it as much. But I do like it. And I know that that will also be helping my worrying about things and stressing things. Because I know the more fatigued I become over time with a lot of late nights, the more my brain worries and stresses and becomes anxious over things. So I just thought I'd share that with you on this lovely Friday morning when I'm just lay here. Not doing very much. 
um but i'm going to catch up on some youtube videos i'm going to have my second cup of tea of the day because brendan brought me one up at half six and um yeah i'm just going to take it easy for a bit because i know the minute i get out of bed i will find a job to do anyway i'll see you in a minute it's a grotty day i think it's meant to rain like this pretty much for the whole day Given the bedroom a bit of a dust which I haven't done for a few weeks so it was quite dusty so I'm up and I'm dressed and I'm actually doing quite well at being lazy um, I did dust the bedroom I did dust the bedroom but it was the rain's fault because I had the window open and the rain came in and went all over the windowsill so I got some tissue and i cleaned that which then showed how dusty my windowsill was then that showed how dusty my windows were and that led on to well if i'm dusting i may as well just get a cloth and wipe all the things in the bedroom that needed dusting these things tend to escalate a little but i stopped there the bathroom was cleaned yesterday where the kids were sleeping so i don't need to do that i hoovered or I went upstairs yesterday so even though there are some dead flies in the playroom because they go in there and then they die and there's the odd crumb in the living room uh no in the kitchen um I'm not going to worry about hoovering right now um I did the laundry yesterday so I don't need to worry about that right now I did put the washing machine on a bleach wash and did all around the seal with some bleach and then I wiped it and put it on a rinse on a 90 degree rinse so I must go and turn that back down to 40 so I don't boil my clothes. And um, hopefully that's given the washing machine a good clean out. But that didn't require any great strenuous activity. I did a live stream this morning, which was really lovely. Quite a few of you popped in. Some people I haven't chatted with for ages, which was really nice. Um, so that was really nice. Should do them more often. Oh, excuse me. Now I say that every time and then I don't. I am doing some more of my Places I Want to Go book, sitting here with pens, my sprocket, no, sprocket, sprocket, ah, there it is, it's my sprocket, um, and I'll show you, I'm watching something which I happened to just notice when I was flicking through Amazon for something for the kids the other day, and this popped up, and I thought that sounds really interesting, not for the kids, but for me, um, it's over here on the telly. And it's called Nine Perfect Strangers. And I'm just starting to watch episode two. This isn't something I do, sit and watch TV in the middle of the day. But I've picked this show as something I thought might be interesting. It's nine people with their own issues have gone to a wellness retreat. And it's, I guess, how they're working through their issues and the dynamics between them. It's... it's fictional it's not a documentary or anything like that um it's got a bit of a um, mystical vibe going on but because it's based at a wellness retreat the feel of the program is gentle so this is perfect for me just sitting here there's no high action there's no high energy there's the odd raised voice the odd confrontation but it's quite relaxing to watch oh excuse me it wasn't that relaxed i'm yawning um i do need to grab myself some lunch and now it's stopped raining i'm thinking of going for a walk i think i'm gonna park up in town do a big loop of pokemon hunting and then go back to the van and pick kenzie up from school i promised him i'd pick him up because his bus takes like 45 minutes to do a five mile journey <laughs> um because it has to go to all these different places and so I said to him, look, I'll come and get you. Um, so I'm going to meet him in the lay-by after school and bring him home, save him hanging around. Um, I might even pick him up a milkshake, maybe. 
I'll see while I'm in town. Maybe I, maybe if I park in town and pick us up a milkshake ready for when he comes out of school. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to grab myself some lunch and then I will uh, get back to doing this and watching the second episode of this show. I'm going to go into town now and uh, go for a walk and pick Kenzie up and treat myself and him to uh, a lovely milkshake. I don't think I've ever shared this on the vlog. That house up there was my first home and I left it when I was about 12. And the building next to it was an old chapel, the first Baptist chapel in this town. On the garden, they built these two houses. They turned the chapel into two houses. And that bit there was the main house goes back into the garden and they built this wall here as well um, which was a long driveway with big gates at the end to go into the garden and then we used to use the chapel as our garage I still have dreams about living there I do miss it There's a good bet in that's a heron that nicks my mum and dad's fish. You know what? I'm sure it used to take me longer to walk around this town and area than it does now. My legs are obviously longer. But, um, yeah, the walk isn't very long and I've given myself an hour and it's probably taken me like 10 minutes. So I've taken an extra bit of route come down into the nature area and yeah go and be with the trees and the wildlife just for a little bit and speaking of wildlife i was just listening to bbc radio 2 on the way into town in the car uh, or in spog and um Yes, Jeremy Clarkson is causing merry hell in Chipping Norton. Um, there was a big meeting apparently yesterday as to whether or not he is to be stopped or whether or not he's doing good for the farming community in the countryside. But it's mainly his shop, his uh, diddly squat farm shop uh, just outside Chipping Norton is causing two hour delays in the traffic for three days or four days a week that it's open. And not gone down with well with the locals which you can understand um, and in fairness he kind of alienated himself quite a few times before he even got to the farm shop because he he called the councillors idiots I'm not quite sure why but he kind of got their backs up and he also blew up the farmhouse he bought which you'll have seen if you've watched Grand Tour at the end of Grand Tour they blow up his farmhouse um, rather than having it demolished you know the traditional way and then rebuilding he had it blown up and then rebuilt but I don't believe you gave any of the villagers warning he was blowing his house up so of course that caused some tension uh, yeah you either love him or you hate him he's like Marmite I'm sure I'd hate him if I lived near him and I don't agree with most of what he says I think he's hilarious and I do actually think he's done an awful lot for the farming community and, you know, in general, teaching people that farming isn't as easy as we might all think it is. 
and it's not the huge money maker that a lot of people seem to think it is. Yeah, so that's that's been quite interesting uh, listening to that as I came in. All right, let's go and walk under this willow tree and take you back up the path. I've managed to spin quite a few poker stops. I've caught some Pokemon, and then I'll head off to the to the what am I looking for? Milkshake. That word seems to be escaping me today. The milkshake bar, and I get a milkshake for myself and a milkshake for Kenzie Bear. Oh dear, I might regret take, <gasps> taking this path when I haven't got my walking shoes on. Eeky, eeky. Can I get across? Oh, it's all watery as well. About this bit. <gasps> A little bit watery. <gasps> Ooh, lots of water. <gasps> oh, I'm going to have soggy toes. There we go. I'm through. I used to play under this bridge a lot as a child fell in many times. I used to climb down there, go under the bridge with my net and catch sticklebacks. I don't know why but so many of these trees are leaning off to the angle. They're like all going off that way. It must have had something to do with the way the light was shining maybe as they were growing. That's really good. Got a Smarties one with cream and fudge pieces on the top. Very tasty indeed. And I've got Kenzie the After Eight one with extra mint sauce. Speaking of Kenzie, I've got 10 minutes to get to where I need to be, so I'm going to go and pick him up from school. Good evening, all. I think it is safe to say I have been quite successful in my lazy, relaxing, do what I want to do day. Um, I managed to get out for a walk between the rainstorms. I did a live stream. I have chit chatted to the camera. I've spent time with nature. Now, in my adventures book, I'm drawing a little spog thing because I felt like drawing. Um, and I'm really enjoying this uh, Nine Perfect Strangers on Amazon. I'm now on episode six and I can highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now, carry on watching this, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>